last lesson we have uh, completed yesterday and uh, before proceeding uh, right because uh, from next week onwards you're going to have your revision tests also so today right, i just want to revise the last lesson with you all so uh, do you have that book with you no we don't have that book so i'll be uh, sharing the screen do you have the book you have flamingo do you have it okay right uh, no today i am going to otherwise i can start with introduction of enemy chapter if you want that but uh, actually i wanted to do a little bit of revision so all of you do you remember the chapter the last lesson what was it about let us just uh, discuss it right what was the last lesson about yeah this is like this is included last lesson is included enemy is not that is why i am not in a hurry to start it you can do it later also we have enough time till uh, october to finish right so in last lesson we have france we have m hemel yes and of course it is a story about french and yes so it is here one small incident happens that make so everyone realize the importance of their mother tongue and when we are connected with our mother tongue yes that feeling of patriotism which is there invoked in us that feeling of connection that feeling that yes we will always be free no one can so little by little so many things here m hammer he tells his class right as he you know teaches them he tells them about the importance of the mother tongue and uh, right so there are instances here everyone right from the youngest to the oldest has regret in his or her mind and that was regarding their schooling that was regarding the importance that they gave to their language and to their mother tongue right okay now here in this story france he is late to school he like sees a crowd outside the bulletin board but he doesn't want to stop there because he's already getting late when he reaches school he notices a few things right he notices there's absolute silence otherwise the children are there making noise in the class the opening and shutting of the desks and uh, the reciting of the lessons the noise which the students make so all of that was missing when he entered the class he did not get a scolding from his teacher right then when he settled down he noticed that his teacher was dressed in very formal clothes the clothes that he wore on special occasions right so he had a dress embroidered shirt and his green frilled shirt and his cap and then later on he also realized that the villagers were also sitting in the classroom the elders they are sitting the mayor house all of them the villagers were there and as the lesson starts he realizes or rather uh, the teacher tells them that today is the last day that they will be learning french right and you know when i talk about this i want you to just take a moment if you've been watching the news you will realize that the past couple of days things have been happening have you heard about what is happening in afghanistan yes right yeah so like when you think of that and we see the visuals which are very disturbing how people want to escape how they're afraid what their future might be like we can immediately empathize with them we can understand what they might be going through at that moment so when something is just taken away from you right so your freedom your dignity and we don't know what the future might be and but at that moment what is there that fear is there in the mind and we are afraid along with it wondering that what is their future going to be like so it is at that moment you know when france heard the teacher announcing that today is the last day that i will be teaching french then you can well imagine what thoughts came into his mind right so just like yes yeah, supposing your schools had been shut down maybe like of course uh, last year only when uh, covid struck us and after that uh, right uh, because we had this online medium we were able to continue but if we had not been then it would have been yes a break and you would have missed all this 
now we're taking everything for granted because we're carrying on with our study so we we have not never felt any kind of loss or any kind of disappointment but the thing is when something is taken away from us then we realize it your parents they take away the mobile from from you for a couple of hours and if you know my god my life is a mess isn't it right what's wrong with my life i don't have a life so we are there of course so you that value you realize immediately your mother has to go away somewhere for the whole day maybe one day and you feel oh my god i don't know anything to do in the kitchen what does the kitchen look like how do i make something for myself so these are things we realize you know when something is taken away or you don't have uh, that uh, liberty here isn't it right so that is why it is yes let us appreciate the little things in life language is uh, something which helps us connect with our culture with our literature with our roots and if that is taken away from us what are we going to lose we're going to lose our identity and as the lesson proceeds m hamel teaches the class very important lessons he said never ever give up your language your language is your identity it is the key to the prison right and of course everyone working very hard and franz you know like all of a sudden he realizes that my books are my best friends otherwise he used to think oh my god my bag is so heavy how am i going to carry it yes it was a burden he did not like his books he did not like the teacher he did not like coming to school but now he has realized he, when the weather was good and it was nice he would like to play outside and not come to school the teacher also says yes in a way i am also responsible i would also go fishing and do not take the class i would also ask you sometimes to take care of my plants water them right so maybe yes the villagers also realize we should have completed our education and look at us we don't even have a complete knowledge of french and then next day onwards when the prussians they are going to come and uh, right they are going to impose a german language they're going to laugh at us that why you would like uh, you can say opposing this language when you don't even know your own language right so this is the kind of dilemma that these people face the elders also realize they should have started you know like what uh, sending their children to school regularly they should not have made them work in the fields or in the mill rather they should have focused on their studies till there was time franz also when he listens to the teacher very attentively and this applies to everyone when we are attentive we understand but when we are worried about what is happening in the other room or what is my friend texting me or what is happening in the corridor then we do not focus we do not concentrate as it is there are so many distractions in life so it is very very important that the few hours that you spend on study focus and remain you know like what alert here about what you are studying okay and then yes uh, mr hemel is very proud because uh, he has also decided that i am not going to stay in this country the country where my services are no longer required although he stayed in his village for more than 40 years so everyone there from the oldest villager there right the houser is there the mayor is there the postmaster all the people there they all know him they love him they respect him they are sad that he is leaving the country and then yes how does he close the lesson long live france right we will all france right and tells him that yes so make sure that you're always connected with the french language i'm leaving because my services are no longer required but i want you to understand that learning your language is the only way that is going to guarantee your freedom right so otherwise also when we are in another state or in another country people of different uh, languages they try to come together they bond yes why because of the language they speak because of the things they are able to share and the comfort you feel so whole day you've been there listening to english and you're speaking in english and when you go home or with your friends why do you like it so much why do you like it yeah when you're cracking jokes with your friends you're talking with your friends right so it is a very informal casual way of speaking you're able to connect you're able to bond right so that is how language is such an important thread that unites us together and this is what the last lesson is about it is also about procrastination regret i could have done this 
I should have done that. But I didn't do it. Right? And of course, here you could have done your work better. You could have done your test better if you had studied a little more. You could have won that race if you had made a little more efforts. Right? You could have completed your work on time if you had started earlier. So there are always ifs and buts after the work is over because then we realize our mistake. So here saying, MML said that please do not realize this too late. Make sure that you remain connected. Of course, we have uh, done this uh, chapter. We've uh, been tested here. So I have a few MCQs and let's see if I'm able to share the screen with you all. Please let me know if the uh, screen is visible. Is it visible? Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Uh, okay, I, I can see the answers also. Right, you can. Okay, thank you Tushar for responding. Now here, all of you, please just look at it. And for those in the classroom, I'm going to read the question. Who is the author of the last lesson? Please learn the names of the poets and the writers. I'm giving you the option. Is it Jade Austen? Is it Rabindranath Tagore? Is it Alphonse Daudet? Or is it none of these? No, last lesson. Mani, that is the wildest guess. Do we have any chapter by Rabindranath Tagore? Jane Austen? None. C is none. D is none. Uh, C is none. D is Alfonso Dodet. Look at your book. Look at your book and you're going to learn the names of all the writers and the poet. Okay, Alfonso Dodet was from which country? Which country has a story been set? Is very good. Very good, Mohair. Without uh, waiting for me to give the answers, he has uh, given the correct one. Very nice. Now the story, the last lesson, which, uh, okay, let me try to hide the answers. How do I hide them? Okay, fine. Never mind. I have my very, uh, okay. Can you still see the answers? Right. Can you? The story, the last lesson highlights which human tendency actually like, of course, I, I should have, I know it is written there, never mind. It's good for you, or you should know the answers. So, which human tendency does the last lesson highlight? Is it male chauvinism? What is male chauvinism? What is male chauvinism? Superiority. Men thinking that they are superior, right? Is it this chapter about that anyway? Is it about language chauvinism, linguistic chauvinism? Thinking that your language is superior than the other. So the Germans think that because uh, we have here like, yes, when uh, Franz uh, looks outside the window and he hears the pigeons cooing. So he's uh, quite uh, worrying or wondered that do you think uh, the Germans can make uh, these uh, people or make uh, the animals, the birds also change? That means we are powerless in front of them. We can only show our superiority or our authority over other humans, okay? So it is not chauvinism or male chauvinism. Procrastination, I just discussed that with you all. Yes, it is. We keep on delaying things, okay? I've got the day sheet. There's one month for the exam. There's still time. There's still time. Four holidays before the exam. Oh, God, today I'm going to rest. I'm very tired after giving the exam. Tomorrow I'll find out my books here and there, right? And it ends up that the last two days we end up studying. And then we wonder, why did I waste those two days? This is human tendency. This is human nature, right? We do that, but still we don't learn. We still don't learn, okay? So procrastination here it is. Yes, that regret, that repentance. I could have done something better. What are the things being taken for granted by the people of Alsace? Are the teachers, the time in school, the people around? What else is there? Yes, okay, I, I'm giving you three answers only. Now you tell me from this. Teachers of the school, time and school, and the people around. Things taken for granted by the people. Time and school, that we have enough time to learn. Oh my God, I have so many years in school and I'm going to take my time and learn. But we never know when time is going to 
run out, right? That's the only thing we're not sure of. Okay, yes. Uh, now, what does the last uh, lesson symbolize? Is it loss only? Is it loss of freedom? Is it loss of language or is it loss of language and freedom? Both, right? It is loss of language and freedom. So it is, it's, it is loss, definitely. Loss of language, you're going to lose your mother tongue. You're also going to lose your freedom because you won't have the liberty to speak the language you want to. You will be having like following the orders which will be given by Berlin, right? So there is loss of language as well as freedom. Girls, are you listening? Yes? Okay. Let us uh, come to the next question. What does uh, the last lesson signify? I, I don't think so. Any, uh, I really am not uh, happy with the options of it. Is it change of power? Is it change of government? Change in life or the change of teachers? Change in life, I, I think so, right? Absolutely. Or uh, you can uh, say it is the change of power and the change of government. That is their mo It's not about change of uh, teachers. The change of teacher happened because there were changes at the top. Right, the Prussians coming and the order from Berlin coming and then one thing led to another. That is why the teacher was leaving. So last lesson, it is much more than that. So please look at the options also correctly. Things which are available on the net uh, are not necessary. What? Nay, nay, these MCQs I have uh, got. I, I'll be sharing with you. I make a PDF from uh, two, three chapters, MCQs. I'll share them with you all. So we can just practice them and then we can discuss the answers in the class. Okay? Right? Not with answers, without answers. Without answers. Okay? Right? Or one with the answers are given at the end. So you can't see. So this was there, uh, maybe a little bit of in a hurry. Okay, what do the marching soldiers under the windows represent? Marching soldiers under the windows. Because uh, when uh, France is there and the soldiers are doing the drill, Right? The class is going on and outside what was happening? Moed, what is outside? Uh, we can't see any soldiers right now. We have to focus what is happening inside the class. So right, so outside the soldiers were doing the drill and it was a constant reminder that what life is going to be. The next day, how the lives are going to change. So what do they signify? Was it the dawn of Prussia in defeat of Pr French people, the defeat of Prussia, the victory of French, or none of these? What was Prussia? What was Prussia? Prussia was the language, or Prussia was a region? Which region was Prussia? What was Prussia? Someone tell me what was Prussia? The region of, uh, yes. And now what had happened? So France, which districts of France had been captured? The districts of Alsace and Lorraine. Okay. Anybody at home can give me the answer. What do the marching soldiers under the window represent? Which, what, which region was Prussia? Yes. So for that question, the options are not. Which region was Prussia? From where did the orders come to teach only German in the districts of Alsace and Lorraine? Where did the orders come? All answers are wrong over here. You know, like, please don't refer to this. We have, uh, of course, so I can show you the answers, no problem, because the answers are wrong. Yeah. Okay. So where did the orders come to teach only German? They came from Berlin, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, what do they think so this story speaks about? What does it speak about? Is it about power? Is it about money? Is it about transition or is it about people? Power, money, transition, people. Is it about change? Yes. It does talk about change. Okay. 
right? So once again, here we have multiple answers. Why was France reluctant to go to school even that day? He was uh, there a little uh, reluctant. So why was he reluctant? Because he wanted to enjoy the warm sunlight. He wanted to see the soldiers drill. He wanted to enjoy outdoor. Or the lesson on participles was not prepared. The lesson on participles, right? But uh, when the teacher asked him and he was unable to give the answer, that was when the teacher told him that it is not the problem with you, it's a problem with France. They keep on de delaying, right? So they keep on postponing things for tomorrow. And tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow is today, right? And of course, here we are regretting our actions because we lose time. Okay, so Franz, yes, he was not prepared. So what did you find uh, on uh, reaching uh, school? This one you all know. What was the scenario? There were people were dancing? No. Those strange people? The backbenchers, uh, the villagers were there? Okay, the strange people. There was a police patrolling? No. There was a strange quietness. Yes, there was a strange quietness. Now, see, you will be getting these kind of questions also. These are quite simple, just picking out the correct option. And I'll be uh, practicing with you all kinds of questions that would be asked. You will be getting sequence also. Yes, you will be getting assertion and reasoning also. Like, of course, here, you know, like uh, about uh, the language being the key to the prison. I've given this statement, right? I have given an explanation also. I've given two statements explaining it. So, and you have to identify which is the correct. So below after that, there'll be four options also given. We'll be practicing uh, these questions, okay? And of course, for your practice, so I'll be uh, sharing a PDF with you all, the multiple choice questions of uh, two chapters we can do. Go through them. And then we will discuss them in the next period. And of course, without the answers, right? So you will get the idea. Now, who occupied the back benches in the class? Yes, who is going to give me this answer? Yeah, right. This is there. The villagers were uh, occupying, right? So the elders of the village had come and they had occupied the benches there. All right. 